Hello, today we're going to teach you how to create a tall centerpiece with hydrangeas and cascading ivy and phalaenopsis orchids. For this centerpiece, we will need a 24 inch vase. This of course varies and you can get a vase that is taller and whatever you need to suit your needs. We will also be using hydrangea for the centerpiece. We are not entirely sure how many stems we will be using yet and we will decide as we go in order to ensure a good fullness. We will be using potted ivy, as you see here, as well as potted phalaenopsis orchids. We buy them potted and use them potted because it ensures freshness and it allows you to also have the plant left over for your future needs. We will also need a few assorted tools like scissors, flower tape, some seven inch container to go at the top of your vase, some pre-wet oasis, some tool, and we will now begin assembling this centerpiece. To begin, we will be using some scrap tool and forming it in a bit of a nest-like formation and putting it inside the vase. This will allow it to cover up the vase inside as well as cover some bits of the saucer container and the oasis. You can use pit moss inside, acrylic gel, or whatever ribbon or fabric you wish. We will begin by cutting a portion of the pre-wet oasis in accordance with the saucer. So put it up against the saucer and see just how much oasis you need to fill it up. Ensure that the oasis, there is enough oasis since hydrangea is a water loving plant and requires adequate hydration throughout your ceremony. So be aware of that. Then we will take some floral tape and secure the oasis onto the mouth of the vase. As you can see, the tool does a really good job covering the saucer container so that it's not visible from your table. So again, we will be securing the floral tape in a cross fashion and adjusting the tool as we go along. The cross formation allows it to be placed firmly onto the head of the vase. And then we will take the floral tape and secure it around the neck of the vase. Now we're going to begin placing the hydrangea. You need to envision a sphere and also the volume that you wish to achieve and the size of the sphere you wish to achieve. And be aware that if you want a bigger shape, you will need more flowers to fill the gaps. So once you have a good idea of what size you want your arrangement to be, you will be cutting your stems in accordance to that size. So if you want your arrangement to be bigger, then you simply leave a little bit more stem. We will begin by inserting the hydrangeas on the sides of the arrangement and on the top emulating the spherical shape. Ensure that the stems are placed firmly inside. This will prevent the flowers from falling out and it will keep them adequately hydrated. It's not necessary to pluck the hydrangea leaves as they add their own natural foliage to arrangement. So you can very much keep them on the stem. As you can see, we're assembling the flowers on the sides and on the top. And then we will fill the area between the top hydrangea and the one at the bottom of the arrangement. So continue putting the hydrangeas into the arrangement, emulating the spherical shape. When we add the Phalaenopsis orchids and the ivy, it will allow us to cover any visible floral tape at the bottom. So don't be too concerned about that right now. As you can see, the hydrangeas natural leaves allow to you to fill the gaps without too much effort. And they maintain a more natural, authentic look.
As you can tell, there's no precise number for the hydrangeas that you need, and it all depends on what size the hydrangea you're using is, as well as how big you want the arrangement to be. So we have completed assembling the hydrangea. Now we will move on to the Phalaenopsis orchid. As I had previously mentioned, buying the orchids in the potted form allows you to save a bit of money. If you were to go to a florist, it is likely that they would quote you approximately $300 for this arrangement. If you were to take this on yourself, you can probably cut the price down to half. Here we are using the blooms from the potted plants in order to create a very nice cascading trailing effect. What remains of the orchid you can simply save and grow again later. So here we are simply removing it very carefully from the potted plant and inserting it around the arrangement in order to create a very beautiful cascading effect. When you are creating this arrangement yourself, you can feel free to use different flowers. You can use roses, spider mums, or any other flowers you wish. But we do believe that orchids have a very beautiful and delicate quality while looking quite luxurious. So here, as you can see, they're creating a lovely cascading effect. And as you can tell, the base of the vase is completely covered and not visible. So you do not have to worry. This arrangement is about 20 inches in diameter. After we have inserted the orchids, it's important to remember that the potted orchids are absolutely 100% reusable. In fact, we have a video describing how to make the orchids bloom again in three months. This video will be linked in the description below if you're interested. So do not be too concerned about us cutting off the blooms as these orchids will bloom once again in approximately three months if you follow our instructions. Now we're going to proceed and put some ivy to add on to the cascading effect. So now we're going to continue putting ivy around the arrangement. As mentioned, don't be too concerned about the ivy. The ivy will grow again and this is a very cost-effective and environmentally conscientious way of getting your flowers. So you just carry on and add the ivy to add to the cascading effect. When you are finished, you can choose to add some additional jewelry or decoration throughout your arrangement. You can add pearls or some crystals, but this is up to you. One way is to put some wire through the jewelry, just at the base of the jewelry, around, and use the wire to insert it wherever you like, as you would insert a flower, and this will keep it secure and in place. This is what the finished product looks like. It's not a very difficult arrangement to recreate, and once you begin, you can get a hang of it fairly quickly. 
So thank you for watching and I hope you learned how to cost effectively create a beautiful arrangement for your event.